All right, so I've waited tables, I've grown marijuana, and I've tested video games. I've had the three best jobs that a young man can have. All right, other than loading ammo in a shooting range, which I always wanted to do. Um, I taught, and then I ran after school programs in LA. Um, and then I taught, the last job that I had was teaching special ed kids, uh, third and fourth grade. Uh, at a school where to get into the school, uh, you had to have gotten kicked out of two other public schools already. So these are like high level, multi-diagnosis, um, quote unquote problem children. Like I had like a fourth grader that uh, came to school with a tattoo, you know, that his mom let him have. I had like stabbings in class. It's a lot of fun. I worked for two weeks as a telemarketer. Actually, I worked for two weeks as a telemarketer after the first time I met Mike Eagle at a show in Milwaukee. I'd, um, I'd, I'd, I'd been interested in rap, but like not on a very serious level. And I saw his live setup, and he had an audio interface. I didn't know what that was or the importance of it. <clears throat> and he told me exactly the make and the model of it. And I didn't have a job at the time. I was in college. And so I got this job as a telemarketer for two weeks just to buy this audio interface and the day the day came for, with the paychecks and uh, this woman's name was Heather Miller and she came in and she was like I'm not supposed to do this but I'm going to give you guys your checks early today and um, like everyone was joking like wouldn't it be so funny if somebody took this check and walked out and then I did that I took the check and I walked out and everyone laughed and then I never came back and I, like, I, like I don't know what they thought happened thanks a tiny bit I'm uh I'm uh I'm a bit older than Rory I'm about 36 so most of my tales span across large spans of time you know just, you know so uh but when I started before I started doing music I didn't have Bless you. I didn't. I didn't have too many jobs. I worked as a production assistant on a television show for my father's friend. Because my father, he, um, I came from a pretty uh, well-off home. My dad had done TV, so we had a pretty, I had a decent upbringing, you know, through my teen years, and that, uh, I think that kind of emboldened me a tiny bit. And uh, so, by the time. Which, which also led to more common irresponsible practices in my job. So I, uh, I was on a tour over the weekend and uh, I missed uh, going into work on Monday for um, my PA gig on a TV show called Girlfriends. So they, um, so they let me go. And, um, and that was at the that was 1999. That was when I, I just put out my first CD or tape or whatever you'd like to call it, body of work called Memoirs of the Elephant Man, and I uh, I put it out that day, and I don't know what I was really known for at that time in rap, but there were a few people who were interested in me, and enough to to make it a kind of big undertaking to put out that little CD.